Hush. What's up guys, Dark Wrist here, gonna be doing an install video on the anodizing racing Ranch Soto exhaust uh, with the loop pipe. And we're gonna be putting it on my new 2018 Kawasaki Z125, so here we go. All right, so first things first, you're gonna have to remove the bottom front cowl to get access to the uh, header pipe and the uh, O2 sensor. So let's go. I don't know what size these these bolts are, but they use um, the hex bit. Thing, just don't know what size. Oh, hey, one side. Right, now that we got that front bottom cowl out we're gonna remove the bolts for the headers right here and they use uh, 12 millimeter sockets All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is to want to remove the O2 sensor. I don't have no two sensor socket, so I'm just gonna use an adjustable wrench. Hey. All right, so after getting the header bolts off and the O2 sensor, you have one more bolt in the back that's connected to the bracket of the stock pipe. So that just, um, it's a 12 millimeter off bolt. So you can just get a 12 millimeter socket and get that one off. All right, so just make sure you got something underneath the exhaust because it will fall once you take the back bolt off. So I got this cardboard box here and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and remove the bolt. All right. All right, so now we're gonna start putting in the new pipe into the header so and do that and so remember to get your uh 12 millimeter bolts for the header machine line. line it up okay so this exhaust kit did not come with any instructions at all um but when you try to line up the header bolts uh into the headers and you're trying to find the spot for this bracket there really isn't no spot unless you mount it into the um, the foot peg uh mount so and we checked on amazon a lot of people are putting it like jamming it into their kickstand or just letting it hang from here and then just using the bracket that came with the exhaust on that just to hold the other end so what we're going to do is to unbolt the foot peg and we're going to try to just mount it uh underneath it all right so we're gonna use a 12 mil 12 millimeter socket to get rid of these two bolts so we can try to get the bracket that's welded onto the exhaust on Okay. Now 
we got that bracket off. Okay, so we found a way to mount the welded bracket from the pipe into the bike. Uh, so pretty much just sandwich the uh, welded bracket in between the bike frame and the foot peg mount. Um, that's pretty much the best bet we got, you know, instead of just letting it just hang or you literally just using the rear uh, mount to hold the whole exhaust up. So already out of the same position, put medium thread locker so it doesn't fall out while we're riding and just gonna tighten it down. All right, so after getting that rear mount on, the welded mount, we're gonna get the, the header bolts bolted in. And just make sure that you get some medium thread locker on the threads, just so it doesn't vibrate out. And then, yeah. Oh, and I basically had everything hand tight for the front, for the header, just because when we were trying to mount in the welded bracket, just because it was easier to keep everything up. But yeah, now that stuff's actually working and we know what we're doing now, it's kind of easier from here. All right, so then after that, you're gonna wanna get the O2 sensor back on. So let's just pop it in and just screw it back in. So we're gonna put this bracket on. It's pretty much gonna hold the exhaust up. So we're going to put the brackets in and line it in. We're gonna hold on to this part of the frame and then make sure that this little lip is underneath the uh, upper part of the frame. So, and like this, get this bracket in. Get one of those. Get a washer. Oh, yes. Oh. Now we can kind of see why they left it where the nuts are on this side, just because of the washer and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I kind of would like this to be on the outside. All right guys, so we got everything hand, hand tightened. Um, got, you know, the airlock nuts in. Um, it's kind of pain to get them in, but we got them on, so we're just going to tighten everything down and then get the exhaust done. Oh, now you want to get stuck. So we're gonna put the muffler on the, the end of the pipe. So we're just gonna slide it in. That. And then um, there's a spring that holds it down from uh, to the pipe. Next, we're gonna pull the put the spring on the exhaust and the pipe. So just get a wrench and you're gonna pull it and then loop it. Okay. Okay. Not like that. All right, you the hex key. That's what works for me. 
<laughs> so make sure you get the bracket around the exhaust fit it on the right way along with the rubber piece and then you're just gonna bolt it into the mount that's on the frame that we got on earlier so i got some thread locker on this bolt just gonna tighten it down on this exhaust Okay, after you get everything hand tightened with the bolt, you're going to get a 14 millimeter socket and tighten it down the rest of the way. All right, and boom, there you go. A anodizing racing Rancetto exhaust on a Kawasaki Z125. Let's start it up. Alright guys, the moment of truth. Alright guys, so that's all for this video today. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Peace.